Hello, everybody. This is Dee from Dee's Cute and Crafty, and I am back with three quick and easy stencil and chalk couture DIYs for you today. I am so excited to bring these to you. I got some new stencils from Chalk Couture, and I found some new stencils at Dollar Tree. So let's get into it. You're going to need one of these Dollar Tree houses, the one that looks like a chalkboard. You're going to need stencil of choice. I have my white chalk couture paste and also the little sample packet of paste and candy apple. I have some red beads and I have tumbling tower blocks and I have a chamois. I also have some buffalo check ribbon and a little bit of greenery. And this one, like I said, is simple and easy. And I'm excited about using my chalk couture. Um, the more that I use it, the better I get at doing it. And it's it's really easy. Now, this stencil is not a chalk couture stencil. It is just a silk stencil that I ordered on Amazon. But I will show you in this video the one that I got from my monthly subscription um, in another DIY. So right now, we're just going to use this home one. And I'm just placing it. I didn't even bother fuzzing it because it really is not that sticky. Usually when they're super, super sticky, you fuzz it so that it's not so sticky that you can't get it off of your DIY without peeling up the paint. But this one wasn't that bad. And I've learned that with silk stenciling, pull it up while it's wet. You have to work quickly because if it starts to dry, it is going to peel the paint up when you remove the stencil. So... Here I'm just cleaning my hands off to make sure I don't have any paint on my hands so that I don't get it on the house. And I'm just going in with my chalk couture paste and just smoothing everything down, all of the lettering. I'm not going to do the hearts. I'm going to do the hearts in the candy apple color. And I'm moving really quickly and I'm peeling it up wet. Now I see, you see here that I do have some paint on the side because I wasn't paying attention because I was so into trying to hurry up, but it wiped right off with a baby wipe, and this came out so crisp and clean. I mean, it looks so professional, and I love it. So now I'm just stringing on those three red beads. I'm going to tie a knot at the end of each bead so that they don't move. They stay where I want them. I'm going to do a bow and my greenery and put my tumbling tower blocks on, and this one was easy. And it is done. So thank you guys for stopping by today. I truly appreciate you being here. As always, comment down below. Let me know which one is your favorite out of the three that I'm showing you today. This one is super cute, but it is not my favorite. So if you want to know which one that is, you got to keep watching. If you like this content, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. It helps me so much. It helps YouTube push out my content so that other people can see it as well. It helps my channel grow. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you never miss out on another cute and crafty DIY with D. So I'm just bundling my greenery. I like to do that with some twine. And then I'm just going to tie a knot in the center of this ribbon. I'm not even going to make a real bow. I just want it for the color of it, the look of it, because I feel like it just makes this whole piece pop. Just that little bit of black and white ribbon really adds to this piece. So I'm not going to make a bow, just a little knot. And it's done, you guys. And here it is, all finished. Look how crisp and clean that came out. Wow. I really like the silk stencils. Very nice. Love makes a house home. Moving on to DIY number two, and this one is my favorite of the three. I have a chalk couture stencil that I'm going to be using. I have some craft sticks. I have some frame, some picture frame that was broken, and I'm going to use that. I have one of these old um, Easter signs, the buffalo check ribbon again, chalk couture paste in storm bumblebee 
and I'm not sure what the green color is called. And I have my Waverly chalk paint in the color ink. So I just dismantled this Easter sign. I took the burlap off. I took the front piece off with the rabbit and all the glitter. And I removed the staples and the twine and I sanded it down. And then I just colored it, colored it. I just painted it a matte black. Now this is my chalk couture stencil for the month of May. And I love it. I get a stencil each month for $21. You never know what you're going to get. But I love this lemonade one. And you also get the paste that goes with the stencil for um, your DIY. So I fuzzed it on my chamois from Dollar Tree just to remove some of the stickiness so that I don't have a problem when I get ready to pull off the stencil. So now that that's placed where I want it, I am going to use my yellow bumblebee paste and I'm going to, of course, fill in the lemons. And I'm also going to fill in the word lemonade. Working quickly, but trying not to be messy. But again, on this one, in areas where I get a little bit of yellow that I don't want, I just go back in with my black paint once I peel this off and I just fix it. It's an easy fix and this was so easy and so quick and it looks so high end. So now I'm peeling that off right away. You can see the spots of yellow that I have on there by the E, but they're gone now because I cleaned them up. So I took my stencil and I washed it. It doesn't look like it because it still looks yellow, but I did wash it. And now I'm placing it back on because I'm changing colors. And the reason I didn't try to just do it all at once was because I felt like it would dry before I got done. So it's best to just, for me, since I'm a novice, I'm kind of new at it, it's best to just do one at a time if it's a big word or a big piece that you want to cover and then go back. So these words are small and the leap um, detail on here is small. So I felt like I could work fast enough to get that done in the white and the green without having to clean in between on this one. And as soon as I get it on there, I peel it right off. Look at that, how crisp and clean. I can't get over it. So now I'm just going in with my Buffalo check ribbon and I'm going to outline the entire picture. And I'm doing this just because this came up a little small for the frame. And so you could see the top edge or the bottom edge, depending on how you placed it, where there was um, a gap. So this helps fill that gap. I love these colors together. This is so sharp. Again, it is my favorite. Now that I've got my ribbon all attached, I am going to place it in the picture frame. And again, this was from something else I had, but of course, this particular Dollar Tree picture frame was not made very well. So, I mean, it just cracked all apart. It, it just came apart at the seams. So I just glued it back together with some hot glue. I used a little bit of craft sticks in each corner um, to help keep it secure and in place. And now I'm using it for this DIY. I started to throw it away, but something said, nope, keep it. You can fix it and you can use it. And I'm so glad that I did. So now I'm just going in with those craft sticks. I painted them black. I cut them down to size and I'm adding stability to each of the corners. I'm going to put a jute twine hanger on the back. And you guys, this one is done. I'm going to paint the back black. I usually just add some craft paper, but I'm actually going to paint the back black on this one just because my hanger is already on and I don't like attaching my hanger to craft paper. I want the hanger directly on the project.
And here it is, DIY number two. I love this one. Moving on to DIY number three, and the last one in this video, we are still using the buffalo check. I have one of the wooden chickens from, or roosters from Walmart. I have some farmhouse stenciling from Dollar Tree and also some of their rub-on transfers. And I have this wood riser from the Target Bullseye Spot. So I just took the wooden chicken and used it as a stencil and traced around it. And then I am going to take this farmhouse Dollar Tree stencil that I was so happy to find. They had some really cute ones out. I got one of each, and I'm just going to use some masking tape to get this tape down to the riser. And all I want from this are the words. I want farmhouse, local, fresh market. The rooster in the middle I don't need because of course I've already hand drawn a much larger rooster in the center of this riser. So I'm just going in with um, a piece of one of the Dollar Tree sponge brushes when they're really really big I cut them down and then I keep the pieces of sponge just for such an occasion as this so I just use my Waverly chalk paint in the color ink and I just dabbed down onto that stencil until I got it all nice and dark and got the lettering just the way I wanted it and now I'm taking one of my little mini sharpie markers and I am outlining this rooster taking my eraser and erasing any pencil marks and you guys this is not food quality food grade or anything like that it's not going to be it's just decorative but by all means if you want to use it uh, for food or anything like that make sure you seal it I would seal it with a, um, a polycrylic and a food safe you know once if you want to put food on it but mine's purely decorative so I went in with my red sharpie and colored in the uh, crown of the rooster's head and the tail and then I use my yellow sharpie to do his feet I use my white paint marker from Dollar General to do the actual body and happy accident the strokes marks you can still see them but they kind of look like feathers so I thought oh this is cool I like it so that was a happy accident now I'm going in with this Dollar Tree rub-on transfer in this beautiful greenery and it's a little bit bigger than I need for this center circle. So I'm just trimming it down a little more. And then I'm just going to transfer this on. I am going to add some of that buffalo check ribbon to the handle of this riser. And DIY number three is complete. I was thinking I might put a little bit of greenery at each corner of the riser, but eh, I think this is enough, and so I opted not to do that. So I'm just tying the bow on now. I'll add a little dab of hot glue to secure it, make it stays, make sure it stays in place where I want it. I'll dovetail my ends, and we will be done. I love it. I love it. I love it. I hope you guys do too. Here is the finished DIY. And you can see what I mean about the strokes of the brush or the brush of the paint marker. If you kind of go all in the same direction, they look like feathers to me. So I thought that was kind of cool. These, again, you guys, really quick and easy using chalk couture stencils and paste and also using the stencils from Dollar Tree. And you really come out with some professional, really high-end designs I really like these so you guys as always I thank you so much for being here today I'm truly blessed to have you 
Again, share this video out. Share it with friends and family. Try these DIYs out. If you do, don't forget to go over to my Facebook group, These Cute and Crafty DIY Divas, and share what you've made over there. I would be so happy to see it. You guys have been doing amazing over there with your DIYs, and I enjoy them so much. So, you guys, until I see you in my next one, be blessed, stay safe, and craft something beautiful today, you guys. Bye.